Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing your weekly horoscope forecast. And so I'm going to uh, be starting off with my um, Aries. So Aries, this week for you, um, I keep feeling like you're going through something emotionally. Um, some of you that are Aries may be finding your your energy is very intense. It comes across very intense to other people. Some people will not be able to um, understand where you're coming from, why you are reacting the way that you are. But you are not imagining the attitudes and things that are happening around you. I do feel like there's a sense that some of my Aries out there could actually be um, on the verge of change. Um, and so if like if you've been having some issues with your luck, things like that, that is going to be changing I, for very soon. I also feel like a lot of you um, are having to be strong if you're going through these uh, battles with other people, like back and forth, back and forth. Um, Spirit is asking just to be, you know, kind of... Um, keeping the faith because there is going to be some changes that's coming and I feel like a lot of you are going to tackle the things that you need to this week and move forward as some of you are going to feel alone some of you are going to need time uh, out for yourself to relax and some of you are going to start planning traveling or actually getting on the road and traveling like mm, now that some of the restrictions have been lifted in some of the states um, this is something that I see a lot of you doing. Um, there's also a lot of focus on your love and your relationship. So if you are an Aries, this is what I see for you for this week. All right. If you're a Taurus this week, again, I feel like a lot of you are going to be uh, feeling a little bit more completed. Uh, some of you are feeling a little defeated also at the very beginning of the week. Some of you may be walking away from certain situations, certain people. Um, there is a lot of focus on your love life or your relationships. If you are in a relationship that you and a partner, you know, they want to give to you. There is this, um, this courting. There is this, um, perhaps things have fizzled out in your relationship. And so um, communication is going to be essential for you to communicate that to your partner so they know what they need to do to change certain things and outcomes on their outlook as well. And so this week I see that. I see a lot of people actually moving forward, uh, no longer feeling stuck. So where you've been procrastinating as a Taurus um, with maybe, you know, projects or uh you know, doing things like cleaning stuff around your home if you're working from home or you're unemployed right now. I feel like a lot of you will have take the initiative to go out there, look for a job, things like that. Um, again, your luck is changing for the better. I feel like Spirit is telling you you're very uh, connected to spirit. You have a lot of intuition. You have a lot of different gifts and things that you could go into different, um, different aspects. You know, when we talk about, um, you, you know, you're like your careers. Uh, you're like a jack of all trades. So you may be good in fashion. You may be good in creating content. You may be good at communicating. You may be good in front of the camera. You may be good answering phones. There's just different aspects and varieties that Tor Torians fall under and you could actually uh, feel a little bit more connected to spirit if you go that route. So um, again, this is the horoscope for this week for my Taurus out there. Gemini this week for you Gemini a lot of you are focusing on your relationship some of you are talking to someone new perhaps uh, someone has found you very interesting is asking you out there is a lot of focus on relationships there's also the darker side of relationships coming into play this week where a lot of you could be you know um grasping or trying to understand why your partner is too codependent on you why they always freak out and you're the only one that can calm them down or bring them down again to a level of of calmness but there's like so much codependency that it's stifling and a lot of you are taking vacations a lot of you are taking time up away from them uh, because you need space you need to breathe in order for a relation this relationship to work out and for those of you that um have your mothers out there still or someone that is like a mother figure a lot of you will be reaching out to them trying to get some um 
some insight and then you may have some of your own children coming to you for motherly wisdom. But the one thing that is very key this week for a lot of you Geminis is that you're working very, very hard. Um, and no, regardless of what your moods are, what you're going through, um, there is a reminder here that everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be more than okay. You have a lot of angelic assistance. You have a lot of angelic protection. You are angelic Gemini. Okay. So don't worry about that. There's going to be some type of celebration this week. Um, and if not, you need to make time to kind of celebrate the moments in your life that um, may not be major milestones to other people, but for you, they're actually very major. So, you know, whether this is like you completing a book or completing a Netflix, a Netflix series or cleaning out your garage or cleaning out your closet, right? Um, take some time out for yourself. That is the message for my Geminis out there. All right. If you're a cancer out there, a cancer this week is about emotional fulfillment for you. What's most important for my cancerians out there is being heard and being understood. Your feelings are genuine. Your feelings matter. And what you are feeling, other people need to realize that you are not going to always be in a happy state. You have a lot of things, worries and things that are concerned. So I see a lot of cancerians this week um, actually um, juggling between two different decisions. This could be financially, this could be your career, but there is something that you're juggling and you're having to come to a decision. But either decision that you make is going to still be a good decision. Spirit is telling you to stop overthinking things. Stop stressing yourself out because at the end of the day, you are stressing yourself out and it's taking a toll on your, your moods, the people around you, and they want you to start moving towards the things that you want in your life to achieve. So whether this is like starting your own business, whether this is like um, starting, um, you know, fall courses at the college, you need to start making phone calls, start taking the steps to research, reach out to, you know, organizations, etc. Do some research on pricing and what, etc. But the thing is here that you have the control over these decisions. There's going to be a lot of communication. People are going to want a piece of you this week. You're going to have to set some healthy boundaries and make sure that you are not overstretching yourself. Then at the end of the week, it feels like someone breaks some news to you. Some of you could be receiving some news from like a family member in your family, someone that you live with in your living space. And this energy feels almost like they um, kind of make you feel a certain way. Um, and it's almost like you are feeling either upset or very irate. Um, but Spirit is telling you to stay strong that again, n everything that is happening is happening for a reason. But you do have um, some battles up ahead, some people that you have to set straight. Um, and it's just a part of your nature. And I feel like a lot of you don't like necessarily being confront, you know, being in confrontations, but it's very, very necessary at this point. So this is a horoscope for my Cancerians out there. I hope you enjoyed it. And now we're going to get into the horoscopes for Virgos. All right. So actually I said Virgo, but I meant Leo. That's what I meant. So Leo's out there. There's a lot of, uh, this is a week again of confrontation. Your energy is running high. You're not going to be happy. There's this obsessive compulsive type of energy that surrounds you and you want to have it out with someone. This could be about anything in your past or your present, but spirit is telling you that you have so many other blessings right in staring in front of you. Why are you letting people steal your energy? Why are you letting yourself get out of kilter for something that is not worth it to look at the your present look at what's before you you have so many blessings so many things coming into your life but you're not patient and you're not patient because you want things in that moment but you have to realize that things come in good timing there is something about you moving forward maybe with someone in a relationship a lot of you leos out there that are single um there is something about love coming in uh, this week in particular. There's a lot of focus on your love life and maybe some healing that needs to take place. Some of you are refusing to see that someone is interested in you and you want to stay single. You want to stay single for whatever your reasons are, whether you feel comfortable, whether you feel like you they need to you know show you more of their, their stuff. But this is all like you self-sabotaging your opportunity for love. So if there is someone waiting in the wings and they have already expressed some kind of interest in you, um, why keep this cat and mouse game up? Why keep going back and forth? Again, needing to make decisions even though you don't know the outcome, 
take a risk. Be spontaneous because, again, that's the only way you're going to feel like you're not trapped in a situation or you're not stagnated. Because right now, the energy that a lot of you are feeling as Leos out there is of stagnation and almost like feeling trapped, like things never will change. And again, it's not all gloom and doom. It's it's actually good that is coming to you. But you, in order for you to see that with more clarity, you have to go forward and reach for that goal. Virgo, if you're a Virgo out there this week, there's a lot of mental energy going on. You're operating out of your divine masculine. You're going to be a little bit more rigid with your thinking um, and people that approach you, but you're also going to start wanting to give something to someone else. It's almost like you may be interested in someone, but you've been holding back. But again, you're going to be moving forward with that. And where your finances are concerned, for a lot of you, I feel like there's stability there. But again, it, when it comes to your love life, it's like an area or a territory that you don't want to touch and you don't want to um, to mess with. And I feel like for those of you that would be in a relationship, there's a lot of people that you're having to defend the relationship against. Like there's people in your family that may not approve, friends that make comments, and it's like you feel like you're being scrutinized for wanting what you want and it creates this dark stagnation but spirit is saying for you again to set some healthy boundaries for you to make sure that you are paying attention to who you give your energy and your time and your resources to but ultimately you will have your way whatever you want to have achieved virgo this is all on you you can make it happen you are the master of your own destiny all right so that's for my horoscope for virgo all right, for my Libras out there, you got so much going on, Libra. You are um, entering your magical period, your um, your spiritual period, where you are growing as um, as a witch. You're growing as a person. You're growing as a psychic, as a healer. Um, any of the tools, you know, as an artistic person, someone that is a more family oriented. You're growing in all areas of your life, and I feel like a lot of you are getting validations and confirmations from the universe left and right. But a part of you is waiting for something and spirit is saying, what are you waiting for? Why are you allowing yourself to lose out on opportunities to grow, to get out of your comfort zone? That's very necessary in order for you to get into the next phase of your life, especially if you've been single forever. Are you on dating apps? Are you going out? Are you making eye contact when you go out, even though you have a mask on in some places because of Miss Rona? But whatever the situation is, you, there is this momentum that the universe is saying, I'm going to push you forward and it's not going to feel comfortable. So a lot of you are going to be feeling like this week in particular, like, why am I being why does everybody seem like they're coming for me? Why is why are things so chaotic in my life? It's because you've been sitting still, honey, for too long. And spirit is saying it's time to move forward. And if you cannot move forward for yourself, I'm going to gently push you forward. And that is not going to always be comfortable. So be prepared. The universe is coming for you. Um, <laughs> it's coming for you, Libra. They're telling you you got so much like wishes and dreams and aspirations and all of it is like before you and you can achieve it i also see like there could be someone in your life that is a male this could be a son a, f a father this could be a lover but there is some focus on their desires and their approach to you so if you are single um then it, this could be someone that is taking interest in you and is there but again you have the blindfold over your eyes and you're not paying attention to the signals pay attention to the signals because there is an opportunity of love uh, right now and to focus on your love life a lot more but i see true love on the horizon for a lot of my libras out there whether you're in a relationship or not there's love um and again i feel like there is a strong a male presence energy that has something to say this week so pay attention to your boss if it's a male if you have a male boss pay attention to your partner if, if this partner is male pay attention to someone that may be female but has male uh masculine energy uh masculine uh divine masculine energy and they operate out of that you're they're going to have something to say and i feel like you need to listen because whatever they say is going to be basically something to help you to help calm your nerves to ease some of the stuff that you're going through libra so this is the horoscope for my libras out there Sagittarius, if you are a Sagittarius out there this week for you, it's all about you moving forward um, in all of your life. Like 
um, I feel like a lot of you are needing some advice. You have questions on a spiritual level. A lot of you are going to be seeking out psychics. You may be coming to my channel for insights or my Patreon. Uh, you may be going to another psychic or a, another psychic's channel or Patreon. But you need some some guidance. Or some of you that feel a little like unrest. You feel a little anxiety, and you're going to need someone to give you that spiritual clarity that you need. Um, I also feel like Spirit is saying that this is a time where if you've been thinking about moving forward, thinking about cleaning your home, thinking about doing something that needs to get done, like paying all your bills or structuring, restructuring your finances, this is the time to do it. You're going to be just fine. Then I also feel like those of you that are in a relationship and that would be Sagittarians are experiencing a darker side to the relationship. This could be the other person is being very manipulative. There is some... Um, dependencies that they have um you could be getting into arguments or wanting to get um you know one of you is wanting to be very controlling in the situation and spirit is telling you that in order to get out of this in order to have that happy place with your partner it, you need to use all of your your skills and compromise compromise is key pick and choose your battles very wisely at the end of the week there is going to be some important communication information that comes in the form of an email someone messaging you someone visiting you again some of you expect some un, un um unexpected visitors this week uh if you are a sagittarian all right so let me go ahead and get into scorpio which i actually should have done scorpio before sagittarius but that's okay so we're going to still do scorpio okay so we're getting into scorpio next all right now we're going to do scorpio because i know that i actually um over i skipped in and i went to sagittarius so scorpio this week you are standing your ground you're speaking your mind but it doesn't feel good it feels like you're having to walk away from drama it feels like it you know you feel some heavy emotions this week it's almost like you have a heavy burden or um weight that you're carrying on your shoulders and it doesn't feel good it feels almost like you are having to defend yourself but you're having to fight you know other people off in your family having to speak your mind and again you just don't have the time for it you feel very irritable very moody this week and at the same time um i feel like you could be taking energy from other people and absorbing it into yourself work with black tourmaline and black obsidian uh, rainbow obsidian this week if you are a scorpio spirit is talking about your money this week a lot of you are sitting very pretty because you've been working very hard you've been holding on to things communication can be warped this week for scorpios things that you say you may mean one thing but it's going to be interpreted the other way it's not going to always come out the same way that you meant it to be pay attention to that i also am getting that there is going to be um some focus on a new love so for those of you that are scorpio single scorpios out there expect something new coming this week in particular um again i feel like there is uh, an establishment of you what you want and the boundaries you're going to set up um, it's something new that you are starting this a lot of you scorpios out there could be starting a new job a new endeavor uh, maybe learning a new language you know there there's just the possibilities are endless but whatever it is that you are doing you are going to be successful at achieving it okay that's the horoscope for that so now we're going to get into the next set if you're a capricorn this week for capricorns you need to be very strong i feel like a lot of you are going to be going through something in a relationship if you are in a relationship there is heartbreak on the horizon either you find out the person is cheating or you find out that there's something like a third party situation or maybe you are just coming to the realization that maybe this person is not being honest or that you don't have as much uh, things in common as you initially thought and this has you reassessing and looking at your finances especially if you're in a relationship with someone and you're sharing finances and if you're not in a relationship with someone this could be some some kind of situation in your life that causes you heartbreak a friend a friendship that's going uh, bad right or a family connection you know to someone in your family and that relationship is like it's too painful to continue that but it has you reassessing your money a lot of you have your have the money have your money on your mind okay you have your money on your mind you're very focused on it there is fulfillment that comes from this you want to loosen up your pocketbooks some of you are holding very tightly especially with covid i understand um 
but there is a new opportunity that it's going to be presented to you. Someone could be saying, hey, there's this new job offer. There's this new thing that you could do. And I feel I feel like you are stuck in between because you already have some maybe some um, things that you already are doing. And Spirit is saying for you to just consider it, just fancy it. Uh, see what it's all about. You have nothing to lose. So if this is like an interview, go for it. What do you have to lose? And that's what they're reminding you if you are a Capricorn. All right. If you are an Aquarius this week, there's a lot of focus again on your love life. I just feel like I just told um, the Capricorns the same thing. But I feel, again, there's a lot of, of you Zodiacs this week. For some reason or another, the energy in the world is kind of unstable. A lot of you are focused on your love life. There is some pain going on in your love life. Either you've come to the realization that someone is very controlling and manipulative um, and things are not as you are making it seem or as that they they are um they seem to be but there is some jealousy there is some negative energy that is affecting a lot of you aquarians and you're asking yourself like where is this coming from because i've been showing you what my you know my love is what my uh, true intentions are and this person is showing you an entirely new side to themselves a lot of darkness presents itself in relationships um, and this could even be in families you know or friendships that you have but just be on the lookout for that again focus on money there's new opportunities so in the midst of all this chaos that's happening and playing out in the background you have opportunities to make income and i feel like you find it cathartic to work on projects and to get out of the space that you are sharing with other other people, especially if these people are the ones that I mentioned in a love relationship, etc. You feel like you can move forward. Uh, pay attention because I feel like there is some backstabbing, some betrayal, some things that are being said behind your back that could be a little negative, And it's coming from the person that you would be experiencing heartbreak from. But there is a finality by the end of the week to all of this. Some of you could just decide to end a relationship to put it on pause or hiatus until you can revisit that topic. Um, but there is some change and there's going to be some times to celebrate with um, someone in your family, maybe a new friend that is, is there, you know, and I feel like there is a lot of you that are not going through what I mentioned in the very beginning that are Aquarians and you may actually be in a very good spot in your relationship. And at the end of the week, there could be trips and things like that, that are for those of you that are in a good relationship. But if you are in an unhealthy relationship, that's going to unmask itself and reveal itself to you. So be on the lookout. But I see a lot of accomplishment um, focusing on your money opportunities. And again, um, I feel like there's an important motherly figure that some of you will be reaching out to. This would be an older female. If you don't have a mother right now with you here in the physical world, this could be your mom in the spirit world actually wanting to make amends or wanting to heal your relationship that she could not heal in you know, when she was on the other side. So again, this is what spirit is saying. Um, and just be on the lookout, you may need some guidance from someone that is wiser. Um, so now we're going to get into Pisces. All right. If you're a Pisces this week, spirit is telling you that um, there's going to be a lot of communication. You're going to be very busy answering text messages, making phone calls, doing the job that you do, you know, throughout the week for work. Um, there's a lot of planning. A lot of you are going through a very good time right now. Um, maybe you've held on to saved up some money, uh, but there is a lot of good energy surrounding you, Pisces. And spirit is telling you to be patient because that's like the only thing that you're not right now. You're not very patient. But for those of you that are patient there's good things coming your uh, love life is very highlighted this week as well but it's the good parts the good aspects and it feels like you bring a lot of healing to a partner to a loved one um, and this is if this is not a relationship like romantic it could be a friendship that you have but there are some um, good key areas like someone's going to ask you out to a weekend celebration or a party um, there's going to be some kind of visitation that you could be doing outside of the city that you live in um, but you know, you should go for it. I think a lot of you are questioning and doubting, should I go or should I just stay home? You know, I don't feel like in the mood to do it. Push yourself outside of your comfort zones. A lot of you are very reserved. You don't like to um, 
have a lot of people around you. But Spirit is saying right now is the time to actually go and have fun and be yourself. So this was the horoscopes for all of my Pisces. And everyone, guys, I hope that you enjoyed these horoscopes, these weekly horoscopes. If you'd like to book a private psychic reading, go to my website. It's listed here on the screen, www.raymondguzman.net forward slash readings. If you want to go and get more insights and um, take part of my psychic and mediumship development classes that I'm teaching on Patreon or my tarot classes that I'm teaching on Patreon, go to www.patreon.com forward slash psychic medium array. And that is also listed in the description box below. I love you so, so much. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world and an amazing week.